Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N-Word is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay, people, so I previously uh, did a video on this channel about a sister in Ohio by the name of Brittany Watts. Uh, the video was titled, Is Brittany Watts Being Punished Because She Is Black? And uh, Brittany Watts, she's a black woman. She lives in Warren, Ohio. She was uh, pregnant, 21 weeks to be exact. Uh, and during her pregnancy, she went to the hospital numerous times for complications, okay? And when Brittany Watts was going to the hospital, she was told that her 21-week pregnancy would not survive. The doctors told her that she will miscarry. It was confirmed that there was nothing that Brittany Watts did to cause her miscarriage. She was not on drugs. She did not abuse alcohol or anything. So on September 22nd of 2023, right, she was hemorrhaging and writhing in pain. And the pain and the bleeding got very intense. That day, very intense, very painful. And being with the information that she had, she did the same thing that many women who miscarry at home do. Brittany Watts went into the bathroom, miscarried in her toilet, and then she flushed. So after that, Brittany Watts goes to the hospital. She's bleeding. She tells them what happened. They alert the police. The police came to the house, ransacked it, you know, going crazy. They removed the toilet. Uh, they're looking for a fetus. They did find a fetus in the toilet or the pipes or something like that or whatever. I'm not sure, but they found it, okay? Um, and they're trying to hang her for that, man. They were trying to hang her for that. The Warren assistant prosecutor by the name of Louis Guarnieri, he said that the police investigation found that Brittany Watts miscarried the baby while using the restroom and tried to plunge and flush the remains down the toilet where it got stuck in the pipes. The outcome to that was Brittany Watts was charged she was charged with uh, felony gross abuse of a corpse. Now, the courts in Warren, where she's from, they bought enough forensic pathologists to get expert advice. This, uh, this pathologist's name was Dr. George Sturbins, and his testimony concluded that Brittany Watts' water had broken early and the fetus was non-viable because the baby was too young to be delivered. Dr. Sturbins also testified that no injuries had been committed to the fetus, further stating that the fetus had died naturally before passing through the birth canal. So people, it's the fact that the baby had passed away naturally before it came out. Brittany Watts was already aware of this. The doctors did tell her this. In addition, people, there was no law in Ohio dictating the proper disposal of methods of the remains of a miscarriage. No law in Ohio, okay? So after putting this sister through all this stress and all this nonsense, an Ohio grand jury decided not to charge Brittany Watts. Uh, Brittany Watts was spared by the Trumbull County grand jury after its members chose not to indict her on charges related to felony abuse of a corpse. Uh, had the legal process continued, Brittany Watts would have faced a prison sentence of five years, up to five years, and a $2,500 fine for allegedly passing the fetus she miscarried in September in the toilet. So what a waste of time, people. What a waste of time and taxpayer money, all because this prosecutor, this knuckle dragon beast by the name of Louis Guarnieri, he wanted to boost his career, get prosecutions, and him up this young sister named Brittany Watts for something that made absolutely no sense. You know what I'm saying? Wasting taxpayer money. You Americans, you're always yelling about wasting taxpayer money and all this other stuff. Racism in the judiciary system is costing you a whole lot of money. Just that alone. Cut that out, and you will save a whole lot of money. That's probably the main thing. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Racism in the judiciary system, okay? All these dumb cases you're trying to go forward with just because the defendant is black. That's it. Anyway, hopefully Brittany Watts can get her life back on track and, you know, let this go and do what she needs to do with her life. People, get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Easy.